Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Love Sims here and we are back for a different kind of video. So today I'm starting a brand new series. It's not an LP. It is more of a showcase series and I think it's probably only, only going to last about a week because I have a few video ideas lined up, but there aren't that many things I want to showcase. Um, so it probably won't last, but maybe like a week. I want to do kind of like a gallery finds, very similar to a CC finds, but for our um, Sims 4 gallery, because there are a lot of really good builders and content creators on the gallery um, that I don't think we get to experience too often. So my first video is going to be inspired by Cassidy Sims or Cassidy Simmer. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put her information in my description. Um, but she inspired this video. She did a video not that far back of our top 10 favorite restaurants in the game and so I decided since Dine Out is pretty much one of my favorite game packs and I use it all the time restaurants are kind of my favorite thing to build that I would do this this video as well but my part one is going to be restaurants that my top 10 that I've built and then part two is going to be my top 10 that I found on the gallery so today I'm going to be showcasing um, several res restaurants catered to several different life states, sim status, so on and so forth, and in different areas. So we're going to start in Willow Creek with Willow Country Club. A lot of you have seen this build before, either in an LP of mine or um, it is a part of my base game save file, but you have not seen it converted in this way. I had to actually re-download it and... Um, convert it again so we're gonna go ahead and take a look my sim is here myself sim is here along with her fiance and <laughs> they're gonna showcase these restaurants for us so when you come in you just see it has a very country club-esque vibe to it it's a little more old and established which is exactly what I wanted to go for um I wanted something that my sims who had more of an elite status, whether they be celebrities, doctors, lawyers, um, elderly Sims who just, you know, um, are here by namesake. I wanted to have a place that they could go, anybody who could afford it, honestly, but it has a gym and a pool to make it have that country club feel, but I really wanted to focus on the restaurant side of things. It's not a lot going on in here, but I just like it because of its simplicity and because it's I've, it's my first concept of a country club and I feel like I did a really good job for everything to primarily be base game. So when you come upstairs, we just have extra dining and then the kitchen here and then some restrooms. And when you come outside, ooh, as you can see, Brittany's here. Um, this is what it looks like from the outside and the back. You can see the pool over here in the upper left and we've just got a couple private tables up, upstairs on the balcony there's my sim and there's her fiance and then we have this little area back here so I imagine that obviously as most restaurants when the weather permits they sit people out here and it's kind of more of a nighttime entertainment type of deal because this is where the lounge activities take place as you can see we have the piano over here for live music and we have the microphone I put this little champagne area over here because hello it's complimentary you know via the country club lifestyle I just thought it was really really cute um I feel like the wedding um pack really added to this aesthetic and I love it we've just got a very simple bar back here I love the idea of the tv because I imagine my sims may be watching like the horse races I really wanted to get in character for this um particular uh build but the only way that I can get into character and convey that through the build is through the details so I hope you guys really enjoy this one I feel like this one's a really great place to meet with um like I said family to discuss maybe important life-changing events like maybe an engagement announcement or maybe even like a wedding reception a business partner type of meeting something like that you know so that's this one Let's move on to our next one. We're going to head on over to Oasis Springs. All right, guys. So we have made it to the Mediterranean restaurant. I'm not that great at naming my builds. So a lot of them typically have pretty generic 
like names or I give them names like that just so that it might kind of catch your attention on the gallery because you know you don't know what it is like you see a restaurant but you're like what is that you know so um and I know for me I like to look for different types of things and sometimes it works out better if I type in what I'm looking for in the actual name versus the hashtag or whatever. So here we go. This is Mediterranean Restaurant. I am all of these builds I do believe are on my gallery already. However, once I release this, I will re-upload them to the gallery because I do tend to make a lot of changes when I'm kind of playing on my own. I might see something or cater it to my gameplay or add something that I think makes it better. And I want you guys to see, like I want you guys to be able to download it the way that I reveal it to you in this video. So I will re-upload every last one of them after I upload this video. So this is kind of meant to be an Indian restaurant. I really wanted different types of food here in Oasis Springs. Um, we'll kind of go move around. That's the next restaurant we're going to go to. It's my Mexican or my Tex-Mex restaurant. But this is what it looks like from the side. It originally was meant to be over in this on that uh, where the rattlesnake juice bar is there it is but I wanted them to be kind of close together so you guys could see them side by side but let's go ahead and go in um, I'm going to try to go in from tab mode so we can kind of get eye level and get like a good view of what this looks like when you come in it's really nice I really love it I went with a different color palette something that I don't always see in restaurants but I still wanted to kind of convey that spicy rich um richness that Indian food has so this is what it looks like when you walk in very extravagant very grand very beautiful I really really love the feel of this um I love the way the seating is set up, but the room over there in the black is our little hookah room or our bubble blowing room. I had originally had quite a few more seats in there, but it just felt very cluttered and packed. So I didn't know how navigation would go. So I just took some of that out. Straight ahead is a restaurant, um, a restroom. I was about to say a restaurant. This is just the second entrance. And then you can see the bar over here. Very pretty. I feel like this is a great spot to just come for a date and have drinks or to come and have dinner with your family I really really love it let's continue on around this way we have you know multiple um, seating arrangements so we have two tops we have four tops we have six a six seater we have an eight seater and a private room upstairs but look at how pretty this is this is just so nice I really love it I love the um, floor to ceiling windows. We've got the wine racks over here, like just private wine selection, you know, all that good stuff. And then when you come upstairs, we have the private room and, and the kitchen. So this is where your larger party would come. This is supposed to have eight seats, I thought. I feel like I'm missing two chairs, but this is what, yeah, there they are. This is what it looks like. And they have their own private bubble blower up here and then there's the kitchen in there it's just really small but I really love this and as you know if you come out this way we have two tables out here so this is kind of like where you would you would request these tables if maybe you wanted to have like a really exclusive special date with your um, with your date to propose because I always think about proposal moments in my game because I am a legacy player I am a family player and so we have a lot of moments where there's proposals or just special announcements you know maybe you want to ask someone to move in with you and you wanted to have like a really special night so it has beautiful views of Oasis Springs I that's why I did this up here but I like it I hope you guys like it too we're gonna jump on over to our Mexican or slash Tex-Mex and they are just too cute so let's exit out of this they just decided to take some photos you know because they looking cute or whatever but let me pause because I don't want my time like my daylight to run out and show you guys the outside and the surrounding areas I, I think it fits really good here in um, Oasis Springs kind of on this strip y'all we moving really slow hold on let me see okay that ain't gonna work because we're moving too 
<laughs> too slow but as you can see um it's it has a lot of color i really like that it's very festive i feel like you can come here and really feel the vibe um of the place the spirit of the place so i love it i'm here for it this is the back patio they've just got the tv back here where you can maybe watch some sports you can get you a drink a frozen drink um sit back here and have like a girl's this would be a great girls night or even a bachelor like night or whatever whatever the case may be um when you come inside Again, this is another one that's kind of been showcased before, and I don't think I really made any changes to this one. This is still the same, and I really, really love it, but this is what it looks like. So you come in, and you get greeted at the front door, and then you sit here. It's meant to be kind of a family-owned restaurant, just really um, colorful. These people hail from Selva Dorada, and so they brought a lot of that with them uh selva dorada and um i forgot but the the family does live in my game so yeah that runs this and owns it but we've got the little jukebox over there so lat they they're ugh, excuse me they play a lot of latin pop in here you've got the kitchen over here it's open where you can see your food being prepared it's very clean back here um, I really love it. The pictures really tied everything together. I got them off the gallery, and as I mentioned in the last tour video, I don't remember who I got them from, but if I can find them again, I'll definitely put that information um, in as well. So uh, over here is just the restrooms, and they're nice and colorful too. Again, just very family-friendly. You can see the little changing table there and everything. And anywhere you sit is a good table as far as I'm concerned. But let's go ahead and move over to our next lot. It's going to be located in Newcrest. Okay, here we are at the social spot. And this is another one that's been showcased because it is a part of a safe file that I'm working on at the moment. Excuse excuse the, the nasally sound, y'all. I'm still a little congested. But the uh, reason I like this, like I said, I like to have restaurants for different occasions catered to different personalities, different social circles, different um, life states and things like that. This is kind of dedicated to... Like my girls who come to brunch or maybe my stay-at-home moms who come and meet with their mom groups. It's catered towards like the more hipsters, plant-loving types, um, freelancers especially. I really wanted a place for my freelancers to come and have lunch and have a place to socialize with people and just, you know, enjoy themselves. But this is what it looks like. This is our front on this side. And then on this side, this is kind of why I decided to call it the social spot. I imagine people come here and are here for hours upon hours hours like all day long but this the area is nice any time of the day but it really looks good at night um with the soft glow of the heaters and like the warm conversation and the warm lights like it just feels so nice if you continue on this way um we've got a couple private tables back here and then when you go inside you're you'll see what I mean when I say like the plant lovers like natural types because plants are everywhere this is what it looks like it has a very clean very green sort of filling I don't think I made this one a vegetarian place but it's more of a healthier uh, restaurant as far as the menu is concerned so you can get coffee here and just kind of socialize and conversate the kitchen area is very small very tight but uh to the left is just a restroom and then around this way you have a couple more tables and then i imagine it's kind of like a cafe a restaurant a cyber area because you can sit back here and connect to the wi-fi and get work done hence the freelancing thing and then um just this small social area here as well. So even if you work from home, maybe you can meet your client here and have like a little coffee break or some lunch and conversate with them over your, uh, you know, the ideas for their project. We also have this back patio area. So really nice, 
really, really nice. I try to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner at all my restaurants. That's kind of the focus for this one as well. We have this little breezeway here. You can see the um, open skylights. There's a couple tables out here as well. People are waiting to get in. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead because that is the end of this one. Let's go ahead and go to our next restaurant. So here we are at Gino's Pizzeria and my Sims have changed again for y'all. They're a little more comfy this time because, you know, they're going to be playing in the arcade and it's just pizza. But I like the idea of family restaurants, family friendly restaurants as well, and places that teens might like to come or kids. If you have sports teams, like if your kids are in sports and they win a game, you have a place to bring them and serve them all together to celebrate. So this is Gino's Pizzeria. And when you go inside, we are moving so slow, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let me lower myself a little bit because I feel like we're a little too high. But yeah, as you can see, there's already families here. They they knew the assignment. They knew. So you're greeted here downstairs. We just have some little signage announcing what our specials are, you know, things of that nature. It has that kind of, um, mm, I can't really think of the word I'm looking for, but it has that brick oven type feel like maybe you're going to get brick oven pizzas from here but we just have tons of booth seating down here well not tons but you get it you get what I'm saying it's booth seating y'all and we've got the little um jukebox over here I feel like that's really cute for your teens maybe they can pick out a song that they want to dedicate to their their girl or their guy and then this is where my sports team would have a seat. This is where their party would sit, you know, eight kids, chaperones, things like that, have their own private little area because they tend to be loud and running around and everything. So that's what this looks like. I even put the little fans out here because, you know, sometimes it's hot in the summer or early fall and you want to have, you know, make sure they're they're comfortable. Then when you go upstairs, because um, downstairs is just the kitchen and then the bathrooms. When you come upstairs, you have the little small arcade, but it's just got the VR machines. There's a ping pong table, um, foosball, the arcade, the actual arcade machine, like the vintage gaming system or machines. Uh, and I think that's, yeah, that's it for up there, but it's fun, you know, it's a fun time. And then, like I said, just some bathrooms and the actual kitchen over here. So let's go ahead and move along to our next restaurant, which is right across the way and it's ice cream. All right, guys, here we have Magnolia Creamery and Cakes. It is an ice cream slash cupcake shop. It's really cute. Um, this is kind of like their grand opening. <laughs> uh, and since they're here by the water, you know, they just kind of want to have that nice sort of outside atmosphere, really friendly. So this is another one that's cute for kids. Um, I feel like, yeah, this is the updated version. I love the little like snowflake decals on the windows because it gives you that frosty feel and I like the bright happy colors this is kind of this is um built was designed for an LP that I did where I wanted my child sims to come out on a little hangout slash unofficial first date and it was so cute they came in and ordered their ice cream and <laughs> he paid for it and they left and it was just absolutely adorable but I imagine kids you can bring your kids here or you can come here for a date um you can self-serve yourself you can serve yourself so you can come back here to these ice cream machines and make your ice cream and have a seat uh, maybe not at these tables, but there are tables outside over there that you guys can sit, um, and, or you can sit and order yourself some ice cream or a cupcake. So you just, it's very small and, um, simple, but we've got some restrooms there and then some more seating out here. I imagine this area is really nice at nighttime when the lights are all lit up and you can kind of see the ferry go by or like 
people walking by. You can see the fairy docked over here. The trolley goes by, you know. And I thought it was really cute in this area too because you can finish your ice cream and come over here and like skate in the park or even do some ice skating if you came from maybe like cupcakes and hot chocolate or something and then go skate. I just really try to focus on placement as well but that is magnolia creamery and cakes we're gonna go ahead they changed again they're so cute <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and head on over to sam my shuno for restaurant number seven okay number seven on our tour of restaurants is sweetheart sushi take two so this is just a reimagining of a restaurant that I did a while back. I'm going to go ahead and press play and kind of let people move around. You do have to wear your formal attire when you come here. I really wanted a place where my Sims could dress up and um, just come and have a nice romantic date or maybe come here with family just for a different kind of fun. So when you come in, it's very vibey. I really love it. We've got the fish tanks over here. We've got these big round tables because the focus is family and communication and just togetherness. So I wanted everyone kind of in that circle. Um, we've got the tables here in the center where everyone can see the food being prepared. We've got some more private tables over here. My fish are not showing for some reason. That's unfortunate because they were there. But as you can see, we've got some families here that are deciding to dine together. There's a couple private tables in the front on both sides. And then we have these bigger tables. I'm going to have to come out of tab mode so that you guys can actually see this table. Um, this is a design that I really, really love. I came up with it quite a while back and I really like it. But it just kind of gives you... It just kind of gives you that together feel, but you're but you're not. So like your your Sims would have a private table, but then other people would be sat at this table too, and you can communicate with them. They're not necessarily a part of your party, but it still gives you that effect that you you find in some of the uh, more Asian restaurants and stuff. I don't know the exact name of it, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. But you get the idea, and everything as you can see is very open but closed off, sectioned off as well. I imagine this side of things is for people who are kind of getting off work but still want to come and have a good time so they can sit here and have hot pot in this room and kind of um, socialize, maybe have drinks after work or do some karaoke to kind of unwind. It is in San Myshuno and I wanted to kind of incorporate that karaoke bar since I got rid of it, but I felt like my San Myshuno, I really wanted to focus, especially in the Spice District, on restaurants. So, we have a um, Japanese or yeah like a Japanese restaurant here sushi and um, ramen and then on this side we have one of my honorable mentions this is another Indian restaurant but we'll see that later and so when you go out back um, we've just got some more uh, out door seating I really like this because you can sit by the fire during the fall and we've got the koi fish over here in the pond. See, they stayed. I don't know why the fish inside didn't stay when I um, re-downloaded this. But yeah, and then we've just got some tables out here. Again, when weather permits, it's really, you know, cute and cozy. We've got a bar area here. And that is that. So let's go ahead and move on over to our next venue. I think it's going to be in Brindleton Bay. Okay, so number nine on our list is Land and Sea, and it's located in Brindleton Bay. I really, this lot was originally meant to be like a fish, fish dock, like where you um, would bring fish shipment in, but I was inspired by a debug build, and I wanted to kind of recreate it in a sense so I did that and turned it into a restaurant and I thought it was really cute so this is kind of like a local spot for the people of Brendleton Bay I really really love it um, as you can see when you're greeted it looks really good at night but when you come you get seated and you can sit down here at one of these tables or you can come up and sit at this little um, 
guys, what would you call this? It's not a stall, but it is a stall. So <laughs> you could sit here and be served. You can watch your food be prepared. This is kind of for if you want to come by yourself and you still want to be entertained, but you want to be left alone as well, you know, or you don't have anyone else. You can maybe talk to the people next to you and watch your chef prepare the food. And then if you called and placed an order, you'd come pick up from this side of the um, the stall and then we just have a, a restroom here and when you go upstairs we have this little area in here so seating on the outside and then um <laughs> they're in here they're in here dancing again sorry for the nasally stuff um but we just have a couple tables up here as well let me go ahead and let them get the dance on and a foosball table so I wanted it to kind of still maybe again like all age groups love to come here but I could even see teens coming here for like a date and playing on the foosball machine the foosball machine that is not a it's not a machine but y'all know what I'm talking about or you could play darts down here and I really like this spot so it's a it's definitely a favorite for sure finally let's go over to Solani for restaurant number 10 all right and finally number 10 this time, I'm going to let them go ahead and request a table because we're going to end things here in Sulani. Uh, I love this because they can come over here and just relax afterwards or maybe take a little dip in the water. Did I not press play? Okay, <laughs> my bad. But this is what it looks like. I really love it. The only restroom is this little area here. I don't like that, but I wanted to kind of keep things small and simple. So when you come in, as you can see, uh, there's a little reception area uh, where you'd wait if it's really busy, packed, booked, whatever, what have you. My fish are not in the freaking tanks again. That's so annoying. But we're going to go ahead and follow Key in. Um, and we've got a dance floor in the middle of everything because I just feel like that's how it is in Hawaii. Again, it's very much about community or did I say Hawaii? Sulani. <laughs> um, it's about community and just making friends and carefree. And I love the views here. Um, but yeah, we've just got now weather needs to permit for this type of this type of place. But it's usually pretty nice in my game, at least here in Sulani. We've got these two rooms. These are more private. It's more for our families that come. And uh, as you can see, it's really beautiful. The tables over here where Dominic and his wife are, I think it's Moira. You can see down into this, the ocean and they have like a more private sort of secluded area same as this table again kind of a proposal spot i really really like it there's my babies they don't look happy about the table that they're in and then we just have another private sort of family room over there and then the kitchen back there so i'm gonna let them go ahead and order i'm pretty sure they're hungry i do hope that you guys liked this particular video or this kind of video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like or leave a comment. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and share it with someone else who might enjoy it. Also, let me know which restaurant was your favorite. Which one would you like to go to? Do you plan on downloading any of these? And if you do, be sure to tag me. Um, so that I can see you guys, so I can see it, you know, used in you guys' games as well. But let me get them some food so they can stop flirting with each other. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.